Hi guys, welcome back to Charlie O'Meara camping vlog, the van build, with thanks to our friends at Gary's Glue. Day two of the build, we got a lot done yesterday, and I've got to be honest, both myself and Tommy were very happy with what we got done. We have very little to do today, but the little bits we have to do are very time consuming. And we're aware of that. For example, at the moment, Tommy's going to make just a cutlery drawer. Now that in itself is an easy job, but it's a time consuming job. We still don't have the countertop and that's kind of not messing us up, but it would have been an awful lot easier if we had the countertop. Because also in the countertop, we're making the pull out draw, the pull out table from under the bed. But anyway, we're gonna work away. The boss man is working away here, getting the power tools all ready for the day. And we'll chat to you and keep you informed to what we're doing. So part of the plan for this morning is to cut out that sheet of aluminium um, and get that door framed at some stage today. I don't know why that camera never focuses on this. It must be too much white. But anyway, yes, excuse the focus or lack of. We're gonna hopefully cut that out. I'll just show you what it looks like actually from the other side. Although there's no, uh, I won't be able to show you. From it. There's no lights on in here, I don't think. No, no, it's a carpet wall. That's pointless. It's a carpet wall on the other side. I have a fire extinguisher of the ready. Um, Tommy's just putting some hinges onto the press doors. We're gonna get the angle grinder and we're gonna take that off. This is what the door looks like when it's open. Now we are putting an architrave around that door, but we now have our opening. So I think we might have told you that we're actually making a wine rack, which goes behind the driver's seat and up to the edge of the fridge, just because we had that bit of space. And this is said three bottle wine rack, wine rack holder. And we're going to just glue the face onto it with some Gary's glue which of course are the sponsors of the videos. Okay guys, it's Friday, it's 20 past two, and we're basically going to call it a day because it's Friday and seemingly that's what you do on a Friday. Uh, Thursday, Tommy came down Thursday morning, again this morning. You saw what we did earlier in the video, very happy with the bed. We've got the seat frames in, I don't know if I showed you that. We now have a trap cut in the floor, the false floor, so we can get into cables. The fridge is in, the fridge is wired. Let me turn this camera around and show you what we've done. So you know the bed is in, we have the frames in for the seats. I have the power on, that's for the outside lighting. We have the toilet wall done and look at this. That there is the architraving. I don't know why it won't focus, but that there is the architraving around the cab door. We have our fuse board up there working and we have our fridge charging. I'm going to disconnect them. That's the press, that's the trap door so we can get into cables and the diesel heater is there. But I've got to be honest, that trap door looks absolutely amazing. Very, very happy with it. Had a few electrical problems during today while Tommy was working away there. For some reason, the outside lights were coming on very, very dim. The charger wasn't charging, but everything is charging now. Everything is working okay. I'm gonna call it a day today, Friday, and in fact, I'm gonna take a couple of days off just to take a break from the build. And after Christmas, we'll have Tommy back in again, possibly for, for two half days or a day and a bit, because we have a lot of fiddly things to do. For example, a backsplash has to go in here. All those cables have to be hidden there. We're making a press, not a press, but a little false head on the headboard and on the footboard and we're putting in USBs and we're putting in lights there. And then the biggest thing that we have to do, and we can do nothing without the countertop. When we get the countertop after Christmas, we'll cut it to size and fit the countertop that's going here. Then we have to cut the hole 
for the unit, for the cooker and for the sink. And then the big one that we have to do, that we have to really think about is cut the slit here for the pull out table that I want to do under the bed, which is gonna be our dining table. So let's say a thank you to this guy. Get him on camera one more time. I will be giving you his details if ever you need a, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much really guys. appreciate it. Got a lot of work done over the two days. And he did say to me, three days should nip it. And then he said, maybe a day or two half days of fiddly feckin' bits that are going to annoy us. Do you know what, actually, I have one more thing to show you, but I'll just put it up here as a photograph. We're going to sit in the wine rack and just show you what the whole thing looks like. Another day, another 75 cent wrapping up this video with thanks to our video sponsors, garysglue.ie. All the adhesive and sealants that we're using on this build is supplied by Gary's Glue at garysglue.ie. Join us again every Friday, some Wednesdays, as we continue the van build with Charlie and me, our camping vlog. Take care, stay safe.